When I first saw an FAL pistol grip mounted on the handguard, I thought it looked dumb, and I held that belief for a long time. It just doesn't look natural, it's so angled. I thought there was no way it would be comfortable or even stable. But I love learning about the FAL's history, and the more pictures I came across of Australian modified SLRs used in the Vietnam War, the more the aesthetics grew on me, and I just had to try it out for myself. I got an extra pistol grip and rummaged through the garage until I found a nut, bolt, and some washers. I did add an extra hole in the bottom of the handguard for another mounting option, but there's already a hole you could use without doing any modifications to the handguard. But if you do have cheap, new production handguards, you might not want to attach a pistol grip like this, but these military surplus ones seem indestructible and I haven't worried about them cracking. So the main question is, is this a worthwhile modification? Absolutely. It's a definite improvement for the handguards with the bipod cuts. I can't stand these, but with the addition of the grip, I don't notice the bipod cuts and it makes these handguards bearable. Uh, the biggest impact of this mod is in pulling the rifle down when barricaded to stop all muzzle climb. On rifles like the AR-15, you can just put your hand on top of the handguard and push down, but on an FAL, that would obstruct the sights. The angle of the grip is actually really nice because of how long the rifle is, and when I'm running it, it feels natural. Also, in general, the handguard works great if you need to pull the rifle into your body to, in effect, shorten the overall length and move it in and out of positions like at this barricade. I would think this modification was done historically for use on full-auto rifles to keep your front hand from getting too hot when mag-dumping. Sadly, I don't need it for that reason, but it definitely has that aggressive aesthetic of the guy she tells you not to worry about. Thanks for watching, guys. I've got a lot of fun videos planned for this year. I'm already working on some of them, but they're not going to happen quick. I'm working the night shift full time now. Uh, it's a real drag, but I'm investing about 70% of my paychecks into cryptocurrency. I'd love to open up my own gun club one day so citizens can train to their fullest. I'm imagining a couple hundred acres, multiple ranges, and shooting bays of all types. And as a member, you'll have your own key to go 24-7. Bring your family, your friends, your groups, the M word. And uh, really the only rule will be to be responsible. Because with freedom comes responsibility. And on that note, I hope 2022 for all of you is filled with freedom. I'll see you in the next one.